Well, of course, the UK remaining signed up to the European Convention on Human Rights, the ECHR. Uh, given the illegal migration crisis we are now seeing, the ECHR is something that some in the media either like to skirt over or just ignore completely, and let's not forget. Uh, Remain at Theresa May, when she was Home Secretary, even called for the UK to leave the ECHR, and I'll play the clip of her speaking about that at the end of this video if you haven't yet seen it. But this does now seem to be uh, being discussed in government. However, is there a plot to block any serious reform here to stop the UK leaving the ECHR? Because there's no doubt, as the Sunday Times report, that Priti Patel is under huge pressure as Home Secretary and a blame game is now said to have broken out. Downing Street officials attacking Patel for doing nothing for two years. A cabinet minister quoted as saying she has got to get a grip. However, in this report, there is talk that Patel herself is angry that fellow cabinet ministers have blocked a radical move to derogate from or revoke certain articles from the European Convention on Human Rights ECHR, which migrants are said to be using to exploit the asylum system. Understood that this was raised in Wednesday's COBRA meeting, are being interpreted too liberally by immigration judges and are routinely allowing claimants with weak cases to remain in the UK. Now, the proposal, said to have been raised by Priti Patel, blocked by ministers on the advice of foreign office lawyers. A year ago, a, a friend of Patel says, she sat around the cabinet table in various meetings and was told, no, you can't do that. It will be seen as too radical. Sunday Times also report that Boris Johnson has asked Dominic Raab to look into the ECHR. A source close to Johnson saying he's a bit squeamish about it, but it's a problem and he has asked Dom to look at it. Now, The Telegraph had a separate report that proposals have been blocked by other departments amid scepticism in Whitehall of any reforms that could rub up against the European Convention on Human Rights applied to the UK using the Human Rights Act. It's very clear now we need radical action. Uh, just sitting back and waiting for the French to actually stop this crisis simply hasn't worked, no matter how much money we give them. The British government and Priti Patel must take control of the situation. And in terms of reforming the system, here is what Theresa May, as Home Secretary, said about the ECHR. Let me know your thoughts on this, guys. And as ever, I'll keep bringing you all the very latest right here on my channel. So make sure you have hit subscribe and the bell. Here is what then Home Secretary Theresa May had to say about the ECHR. The case for Britain remaining a member of organisations such as NATO, the World Trade Organisation and the United Nations, for example, is clear. But as I have said before, the case for remaining signatory of the European Convention on Human Rights, which means Britain is subject to the jurisdiction of the European Court of Human Rights, is not clear. Because despite what people sometimes think, it wasn't the European Union that delayed for years the extradition of Abu Hamza, almost stopped the deportation of Abu Qatada, and tried to tell Parliament that however we voted, we could not deprive the prisoners of the vote. It was the European Convention on Human Rights. The ECHR combined the hands of Parliament, adds nothing to our prosperity, makes us less secure by preventing the deportation of dangerous foreign nationals, and does nothing to change the attitudes of governments like Russia's when it comes to human rights. So regardless of the EU referendum, my view is this. If we want to reform human rights laws in this country, it isn't the EU we should leave, but the ECHR and the jurisdiction of its court.